Now, Kenyan troops that form part of the East African Community Regional Force have began their journey into the eastern part of the DRC, where other than peacekeeping, they will be expected to assist Congolese troops in a planned disarmament exercise. The contingent received its flag to head out on their tour of duty from the Commander-in-Chief and President William Ruto. Leila Mohamed has that report. Kenyan troops have been deployed to the mineral but conflict ridden eastern part of the Democratic Republic of Congo to battle a rebel offensive. After months of preparations for this duty that will be undertaken by troops from this region, the Kenyan troops are ready to make the move. The moment you say how many you are, uh, then uh, somebody who is uh, waiting for you will know how to counter you. Whilst no official figures were announced due to security reasons, there have been reports that the 800-man team will travel immediately now that they have the Commander-in-Chief's blessing. Officer! Colonel Daniel Rotich, the commander of the Kenyan contingent, undertook his first orders of the new mission from his Commander-in-Chief when he received the Kenyan flag that will be a critical symbol of Kenya's new venture into peacekeeping inside the DRC. The colonel handed over the flag to the commanding officer, Lieutenant Colonel Dennis Obiero, who then flew the flag high up as the troops danced and sang songs to give them morale ahead of the assignment at hand. For the team that will be part of a joint EAC peacekeeping mission, the Kenyan flag received months after a presidential agreement to send troops into the latest entrant in the East African community was signed in Nairobi. This contingent is structured at battle group level and has been prepared, well trained and equipped appropriately for the attainment of the EAC mandate within the ES, e, EAC regional force uh, structure, which has two battalions from Uganda, one battalion from South Sudan, uh, two battalions from Burundi, and Rwandan troops operating uh, on the uh, territory along their common border with DRC. Kenya will command the force with Major General Jeff Nyaga leading the troops of the East African Regional Force, whose mission will be headquartered in Goma, Eastern DRC. Once the boots hit the ground in the heart of the Great Lakes region, they will depend on skill, modern equipment, armor, and vehicular power to undertake their main mandate that will include humanitarian relief, maintenance of law and order, to plan and conduct operations within the Eastern DRC region to contain the threat of armed groups. We have agreed on the framework under which Kenya is going to work with the DRC forces for the purposes of disarmament, for the purposes of ensuring that civilians are protected. In a mission where Kenya takes the lead in a movement where the region is taking care of its internal problems, they are hoping that this time around there will be a difference inside Eastern DRC in an area where international missions are now facing stiff challenges. We have, as you know, uh, the UN uh, MONUSCO, a force that is there, a mission rather, and also there is the Force Intervention Brigade, which all belong to the UN. Uh, and therefore, until we get there ourselves uh, as East African community, and remember uh, DRC is a member of the East African community, uh, we are very hopeful that uh, they should be able to receive as well uh, because we are coming to help. Whilst Kenya had been earlier seen as unsure whether she would deploy her boots inside DRC, a conversation between several heads of state within the region affirmed Kenya's position in engaging in its 42nd such peace mission since independence in 1963. We owe a brotherly duty of solidarity to meet DRC halfway and stand together until the job is done. Nairobi meetings to create a peace accord continue. The challenge that we face, as you rightly point out, is in the North Kivus. And for that, we are still working very hard mm -hmm. to ensure that we try to reach out uh, to the M23 and to others. The M23's resurgence has had resounding repercussions for relations in Central Africa. 
The increase in violence has alarmed the international community, with the African Union appealing for a ceasefire. Leila Mohamed, NTV.